disco, and otherwise very difficult to categorize, that's Jellyfish, a new band from San Francisco whose new album, Belly Button, we definitely commend to you. Here's why. Remember the late 60s and early 70s, an era of day glow and bell bottoms, glitter and platform shoes. It's an era that jellyfish seem to be bringing back. Or are they? Just don't say the P word. <laughs> P? S -s 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 Psychedelic. I wouldn't consider us hippies. We bathe regularly. I don't like the Grateful Dead. We don't wear tie-dye. Strictly tiger skin. Okay, so they're not hippies. But try asking Jellyfish to explain their debut single, The King is Half Undressed. And the response is, well, pretty trippy. It's like a six-minute rock opera, or shorter, no, five. Shorter, yeah. Yeah, um, uh, about uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Each segment of the song represents a different candy that was introduced. a troll that lives under a bridge and, um, and every Thursday he Andy does his laundry. The jellyfish time warp also embraces the 70s, which is why they hired Albie Galutin to produce their record. He's the man who co-produced one of the best-selling albums of all time, the disco classic Saturday Night Fever. I mean, as soon as we heard that he had done Saturday Night Fever, I mean, we knew he was perfect for this project because a lot of what Jellyfish wanted to do was, uh, you know, record records um, like we heard when we were growing up. Then there's the jellyfish look. The bell bottoms and fluorescent colors aren't just stage wear, they sport these threads all the time. We just like dressing this way. I mean, we just, we dressed this way for a long time. And um, I, I think it's definitely coming back. I mean, I, it'll probably be to the point of illness, I'm sure. I mean, well, we'll see it in every <laughs> department store. And that, by that time, we'll be dressing you know, with skinny ties and we'll be new wave. 